Thank you, Brother Stewart. Good evening, brothers and sisters, friends and visitors. We are extremely happy to have all of you here this night so that we can properly discuss the Word of God. We have with us Bishop S.C. Johnson. First, I am admitting that Jesus Christ is a father, and not uh, uh, any old type of father, but that he is a father, that he is the, the bridegroom, and that his marvelous and wonderful church is the bride. We'll find that in Revelation. I'd like for somebody to turn to Revelation 19 and 7, Revelation 21 and 9. His name is Christ. His wife's name, uh, where bears the name of the uh, husband, and the children bear his name, Christ. Isaiah said, Far unto us, the child is born, the son is given. Name shall be called the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And Isaiah, wasn't lying when he said he was the mighty God. Nobody but Jesus Christ, uh, our God, could, could quite a storm, could walk on the water, have power over all matters of disease, heal the sick and raise the dead four days, and then raise Elijah, uh, and raise Moses, and then raise himself. He has to be a God. I just said he was a God. And when he's married to his marvelous church, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, uh, somebody, uh, let me have Revelation 21 and 7. Who has it? Let me have it. Read it. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will keep in his God. That's not the one I want. Turn to Revelation 19. 19 and 7, 21 and 9. Now Read it. Let us be glad and rejoice. And give honor unto him. Give honor him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife has made herself ready. He's a, wife. He's a husband. And he has a wife. And he was a married man. That's the reason I just said he was a father. He's a father. He's the mighty God. Yeah. God in the flesh. I told somebody another one. Read it. And there came unto me, one of the seven angels, which had the seven, the vows full of the seven last place. He talked with me, saying, come here now, I'll show you, I'll show you the bride, the lamb's wife, man's marriage. That's two witnesses, that's enough. The man's a married man, that's the reason he's a father. Man is not married, got no business having children. No, he's a father. He's got a wife. The man said he has a wife. Now, out of all of that, Bishop Johnson is a sermon. How much time do I have? You got 15 minutes. I want to check myself. Bishop Johnson is a sermon that there is only one in the Godhead. All right. I want you to notice this blackboard here. I want you to notice this blackboard. I have there a caricature, the baptism of Christ. Now, if he jumps on that and tries to play like this, I don't know what Christ looks like. I don't. I don't know what John would look like. But I do know what a dove looks like. Now, this... This fine man come from Philadelphia. I want to tell you people what he's preaching. And I oppose him radically. I oppose him radically. He is teaching that Jesus Christ turned to a bird. That's his doctrine. That's his doctrine. And there's not an individual sitting here who believes that. And if there's any individual sitting here that believes that, he's radically fooled. That Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, turned in the form of a bird. Now I want to read it to you. He says it's only one. 
It's only one in the Godhead. All right, let's read the scriptures and see. And I'm going to stay with this bird. I'm going to stay with this bird all this night. And I'm not going to leave. And I want the bishop to know right now. Now, give me the debate. Let me, let me read something here. I don't need a whole lot of time to read a whole lot of scriptures. He's going to have to prove this out to me tonight. Now, here's what, here's what the, the debate says. All questions must be answered yes or no. Then give Bible chapter and verse to support the answer given. He's going to have to tell me whether Jesus Christ turned to a bird or not. I've got the scripture on him. I've got the scripture on him. If he turns to a bird, he's going to have to preach that the Lamb of God changed from the form of human being into the form of a bird. We've got scripture that the Holy Ghost came in the form of a, of a dove. Now I want to know, uh, watch this. I don't want to get too fast on it. Let me finish this. If at any point, if at any point, either speaker fails to give a yes or no answer with the Bible, chapter and verse, to support his answer given, the debate will be considered lost in favor of the other opponent. If he can't straighten out this word business tonight, this thing's lost. That's what he wrote. He wrote this city to me and I sang it. He's going to have to prove to me that Jesus Christ turned to a bird. The loser will acknowledge his defeat before the audience three times and admit that he is unable to give Bible chapter and verse to support his answer. Now let's turn to Matthew. Let's see what this apostle said. Let's find out if Matthew's telling the truth or if Matthew's telling a lie. He's the one that wrote it. I am reading for your consideration. Matthew, the third chapter, beginning at verse 13. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan. Unto John, here comes Jesus from Galilee unto the, to the Jordan, unto John, to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and cometh thou to me. Here are two men. One man is Jesus Christ, the other man is John the Baptist. They are not the same. They are not the same. They are separate. One to do the baptizing, and the other is to be baptized. John is to baptize Jesus, and Jesus is to submit to baptism. All right. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, I want you to note this, and Jesus, when he was baptized, Jesus, Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. He, when he was baptized, I want you to look. When he was baptized, he went straightway up out of the water. And lo, and lo, the heavens, the heavens open. Lo, the heavens open. I want you to get it now. Heaven has opened its doors open. Uh, and Jesus had been baptized straightway up out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and I lighted upon him and he, he saw, he saw the spirit, the spirit of God, like a dove, I lighted on him. I want to know who is the him, what him did the dove light on? Here's a bird, there's a man, there's a man, there's a voice in heaven. Who, who was doing the talking? That voice said this is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. When John baptized the Savior of the world, did he turn into a bird? That's the proposition. That's the proposition. I shall not, I shall inform you now. I don't care how much scripture he quotes. He can quote it from Genesis 
to Revelation. I'm going to stand right here. Did Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, when John baptized him as a man, did he in turn change to the form of a, did he change to a form of a bird? If the Lamb of God is a bird, I know he's got the wrong religion. I know he's preaching the wrong doctrine. He cannot tell the truth and affirm it. Here are three things. Here's a voice that's coming from heaven. Here's a, here's a dove. Here's a dove. My question to him tonight, if there is only one, when John baptized Jesus, did Jesus turn to a bird? You're going to have to have somebody around here in bird form. You're going to have to have it. I'll read it again. And the heavens were open under him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, like a dove, and lighted, and lighted upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Now, he's going to have to tell me whose voice is this one. He's going to have to tell me that uh, Jesus turned to the bird. He's going to have to tell me uh, the bird lit on whom? The bird lit on whom? The Spirit of God descended like a dove and lighting, lighting, lighting on him. Turn to the reference there, brother. Find that same passage of Scripture in Mark. And then also in Luke, I am affirming uh, that there is a father who says this is my son. I'm affirming that Jesus Christ is a father and that the father says he had a father. Yes, sir. My father, my father, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. No man can claim fathership and that be legal with God, unless he be the, uh, the, the father or have father or son. I want to stress that. I shall not leave that. I want you to note the picture. Boy, who's boy? Now maybe he can answer that. Maybe he can tell me that Jesus Christ was everywhere when John was baptized. Maybe he can tell me that Jesus Christ was everywhere when Mary was giving birth to him. I'm affirming that when Mary gave birth to Jesus as a little fellow, I was in a manger. I'm affirming that. I'm affirming that Jesus Christ took on the form of a human being, took on the form of a man, and that he suffered, and that he died for us, and that he resurrected the third day, and that for 40 days he was on this earth. He ascended into heaven. And somebody, while you are looking for that scripture, I want to read it myself. I'm turning now to Mark, the 16th chapter, and verse 19. I'll read 18 first. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, talking to the apostles, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into the heaven and sat, oh, if I had enough room, I want to draw that, and sat, on the right hand of God. I want to know whose hand was Jesus sitting on. Was he sitting on his own hand? And I'd like to see that. I'd like to see what the God in heaven looks like sitting on his own right hand. Said that Jesus was sitting on the right hand of God. If, if, if he doesn't have a father, then this English Bible is really messed up. It's messed up. We're going to talk on tongues. I speak about these tongues business one of these nights. But there's no need of talking about tongues if we can't understand one tongue, the English tongue. And the English tongue says that God, uh, Jesus Christ, was sitting on the right hand of God. There had to be somebody there with a right hand. And if there wasn't nobody there with Jesus with a right hand, I want him to tell you people that Jesus was sitting up there on his own right hand. Turning now to Acts. I'm turning now to Acts, the seventh chapter. And this is the last scripture I shall use 
in this period of time. Acts the seventh chapter, verse 55 and verse 56. This is discussing uh, the death of Stephen. And it, verse 55 says, He, but he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked steadfastly into the heavens. He saw, he saw the glory of God. He saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Now, if there's only one up there, I wonder how long Jesus' arm is and if he's got his arm hanging down and he's standing on his hand. I want to know if Jesus is standing on his own right hand. And when he tells me that, I want to know what in the world is he doing standing on his own right hand. What's the idea? What's the purpose? Why does any man stand on his own right hand and sit on his own right hand? What's he sitting on his hand for? Then I want to know, those are the three. I want to know when Jesus was baptized. I want to know when the heavens opened. Whose voice? Whose voice was that that said, this is my beloved son? Now he's going to have to tell you people that. I want you to listen to him and let him tell you that Jesus was throwing his voice, that he was everywhere. John, Bapt John baptized Jesus in the Jordan, but Jesus was everywhere. That's what he's going to say. But if Jesus was everywhere when John baptized him, how in the world did he get him under that water and he being everywhere? Then the Jordan River had to be everywhere. Oh, his ugly doesn't make sense. If what he says is true, God's going to send it up down here. Trying to tell me that the man is everywhere and the Bible says John got him, grabbed him and ducked him. Ducked him under the water. Ducked him. Putting him under the water. And he wants to say he's everywhere. He's in heaven, he's in earth, under the earth, everywhere. <coughs> Why in the world are you going to baptize anybody if he's everywhere? Well, you'd have to be everywhere too. To baptize him, and his argument won't make sense. And then, uh, then this this bird business, stand with the bird. It's bird business. Gonna have to prove it. Gonna have to prove it. I deny that Jesus Christ turned in the form of a bird. Do you brethren have that other passage of scripture that verifies it? Let me have it. I want to read the thing. Hey, him. Yeah. I do. Hey, him. Yeah. Yeah. It came to pass, this is what? First chapter, starting at verse 9. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in the Jordan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descended on him. The spirit like a dove. The spirit like a dove descending upon him. Matthew said it. Mark said it. I wonder both of them lying. I believe both of them telling the truth that Mark didn't lie and I believe that Matthew told the truth and that he didn't lie and I believe the Spirit of God came down from heaven in the form of a dove and it sat upon him and it landed the book says it landed descended upon him now he can argue about which him it was but was something sitting on somebody now if it's sitting on John that's all right if he's sitting on Jesus that's all right. But the dog was sitting on somebody. Descended on him. Who's got another scripture on that page? Luke yeah. What? Luke 3 and 22. I think that says it a boat on him. Is that right, brother? It a boat. Luke 3 and 22. I want these people to know it. Listen. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dog upon him. And a voice came from heaven. Which said, Thou art my beloved son, in thee I am well pleased. Here's a voice hollering, Son. Oh, son. 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 This man standing here and says, No father hollering, son. Well, right, who's hollering, son? It sure wasn't no mama. Son. Son. My son. And he wants to tell me that Jesus was talking to himself. Well, when you talk, start to talking to yourself and answering yourself, they're going to have to send you somewhere. Don't you know that? And men don't sit around and 
talks to himself, Jesus Christ is intelligent. Lamb of God, I thank you. We have heard Brother Waller's part of this, of this discussion, and now we come to the second part of this discussion by Bishop S.C. Johnson of Philadelphia, who is the uh, head of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, Apostolic Faith Incorporated. And as Bishop Johnson come before you, we trust that you will give him the highest of respect and courtesy and it gives me very great pleasure to present to you at this time Bishop S.C. Johnson from Philadelphia. His time, 20 minutes, will begin when he began speaking. Now I want to say my worthy opponent and to this congregation that my worthy opponent has misrepresented me. That's right. I have never preached that Jesus turned to a bird. Never. I never preached that. No. The Bible says he descended in the bodily shape of a dove. So if you want to question anybody, question God about him, question the Bible, don't question me because I never preached that. Amen. That's out of the question. Now, I affirm that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. And there is only one God. And I defy my opponent or anybody in the house to give me Bible for two gods. The Bible says, there is one God, one. My opponent has used his supposition. We're going to use Bible. This is a biblical discussion, yeah. not using supposition. Jesus Christ was God manifested in the flesh. He was God manifested in the flesh. Get me good now. His spirit was everywhere, mm -hmm. That's right. but his body wasn't. That's right. He didn't know that. That's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ was God manifested in the flesh. The Bible says so. That's right. And if he was God manifested in the flesh, then part of him was everywhere. That's right. And the other part was there in the water. That's right. That's right. Give me, right, uh, give me first, the third chapter of First Timothy. First Timothy, chapter 3, he don't know that. Jesus Christ was human and divine. God put on a human body. The Bible says, as the children was partaker of flesh and blood, he also likewise took part of the same. That's right. So God was here in the, in the flesh. Right. And his spirit filled everywhere. That's right. But his body didn't. That's right. John baptized the body. That's right. And the spirit filled that body and filled heaven and filled hell That's and right. filled everywhere. Because David said, if I go to heaven, you're there. That's if right. I go to hell, you're there. If I take the wind of the morning and dwell in other part of the other. See, you're there. That's right. So his spirit was everywhere. That's right. While his body was only in the water. That's right. Read it. First Timothy, chapter three, uh -huh. verse sixteen. Yes. And without controversy, without any argument or any dispute, great is the mystery of godliness. See, my my opponent don't know nothing about the mystery. That's it. He takes it naturally. That's right. He don't know nothing about the mystery. This is a mystery. That's right. A mystery something everybody don't understand. That's right. Paul said it was a mystery. That's right. Didn't he? And without controversy. You've got to take Bible. Yes. Without any argument. 
Great is the mystery of godliness. Great is the mystery of godliness. God, who? God, God was manifest in the flesh. God was here in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Yes. Seen of angels. Yes. Preached unto the Gentiles. We don't have but one God. That's right. I dare him to tell me we've got two. I'll make him find Bible. That's right. He said Jesus was father. Mm -hmm. And then God was father. Uh -huh. He's got two fathers. That's right. Give me, give me Malachi. Malachi 2.10. Let, Mal let me kill him right there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Malachi. Yeah, man. Remember what the Bible said. He's got two fathers. Two fathers. He said Jesus is father because they married and had children. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is father and God's the father. So that's two fathers according to his word. And that's going to make the Bible a lie. That's right. Anytime a man's doctor makes the Bible a lie, he's got rotten doctrine. That's right. All right, let's hear it. Malachi uh -huh. chapter 2, yes. verse 10. Yes. Have we not all one father? How many? Have we not all owe any one father? He said we got two. <laughs> now he's got to give Bible for two. Two fathers. For two fathers. That's right. Ain't gonna give his mouth. He's got to give, I'm giving Bible we have one father. That's right. And he's gonna give Bible we have two fathers. That's right. Then I'll be the liar. That's right. Or the Bible will be the liar. Have we not all one father? How many fathers? Have we not all one father? He says it's two. Mm -hmm. And two God. That's right. Eh? That's right. And God Almighty said, he stretched both the heavens alone yes. and spread the... I'll get that later. Yes. Now let's, let's work on this father. Yes. Have we not all what? Have we not all one, one father? Now, there's something wrong somewhere. That's right. Because he says two fathers. That's right. That Jesus is a father, mm -hmm. and then it got God a father. Yes. Yeah. Eh? That's right. And the Bible says, have we not all one father? And Jesus said, he that believeth on me has the scripture. Scripture has said. That's right. Not as a man's mouth said, no. as the scripture said. That's right. The scripture said we got one father. That's right. Don't it? That's right. Have we not all, have we not all one father? <laughs> Are we going to take that? Are we going to call that a lie? How many believe that's a lie? That, that, that is two fathers. <laughs> that, that, it, it's more than one father. Believe that's a lie then. Raise your hand. All that belief. That is two fathers and that's a lie here. Just raise your hand up. But he don't know. <laughs> the Bible said what? Have we not all one father? If that's, if, if Mr. Waller is right, then that's a lie. Mm -hmm. How many believe that's a lie? Come on, be honest. Raise your hand. How many believe that's a lie? <laughs> How many believe God told a lie there? Huh? No, no, none of these folks believe it. No. You bet not to say you believe it. With the Bible in your hand, and say you believe the Bible, and believe God lied. God no more than Mr. Waller. That's right. All right. Have we not all Mr. one Mr. Waller got two God. Let me burn him up here. Mm -hmm. Give me Deuteronomy. Yes, sir. 32, 39. Deuteronomy. Listen at this. Chapter 32. Yes. Verse 39. Yes. See now. See, I'm bringing Bible. I'm not bringing supposition. No. I'm going to kill him with the Bible. That's right. All right. See now. See now. That I, even I am he. That I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. Well, I will see. And believe me, not believe us. <coughs> believe me. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And understand, and understand that I am he, that I personal pronoun am he, yes, mm -hmm. before me, what, there was no God formed, yes, neither shall there be after me, what, neither shall there be, God said there was no God with him, mm -hmm. and said before him there was no God formed, yes, and said, not going to be no God after him, that's right, now you read the 44th chapter and verse 8, mm-hmm, 
Isaiah chapter 44, verse 8. Yes, fear ye not. Fear ye not. Neither be afraid. Don't be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time? Have not I told thee from that time? And have declared it. And God said, I have declared it. Ye are even my witnesses. Yes. Is there a God beside me? Somebody answer. Is there a God? God, God is asking a question. Is there a God beside me? <laughs> God is asking a question. Is there God beside is me? Is there a God beside me? Well, nobody won't answer. I'll let God answer. Yes. Yeah. Yea, there is no God I know, not any. Well, Mr. Wallen knows one that God don't know. <laughs> God said he didn't know no God. Yes. Yeah. But himself. That's right. And I believe that. Yes. Yeah. You see, that's damnable doctrine. He made a statement, there were three distinct persons in the Godhead. Mm -hmm. There is no such a scripture in the Bible. No. There is no such a scripture in the Bible. Amen. Jesus Christ was Father in creation. Right. And he was Son in redemption. Yeah. And he's right now Holy Ghost in the church. Right. That same one. That's right. Huh? That's right. But his body was never where. No. His body was down here in the earth. Mm -hmm. But his spirit filled everywhere. That's right. Huh? That's right. So God said, he didn't know none. Now, Mr. Wallace said, there are three. And God said, is there a God beside is me? Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. Yea, there is no God. I know not any. God said, I don't know no God. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Wallace says this too. Mm -hmm. That Jesus Christ is God and it's another. Mm -hmm. Well, God didn't say that. No, he didn't. Now, remember, this is a biblical debate, and we're not going to take Mr. Waller's mouth. Mr. Waller is going to give Bible for his statement. Hmm? All right, give me, give me uh, Isaiah 44. Yes. 24. Yes. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer. Yes. And he that formed thee from the womb. Not they that formed you. He. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord that maketh all things. Yes that stretcheth forth the heavens alone. Read that right. That, that the scripture says, alone. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens, A-L-O-N-E. I wonder where was the other two. <laughs> I'm going to make Mr. Waller tell me where the other two were. Mm -hmm. Or did God tell a lie here? Yeah. If there's three distinct persons in the God hate, mm -hmm. God lies. That's right. That said us that. That's right. God told a lie. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Wallace telling the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make him find the Bible that says it's three distinct persons in the God here. Yeah. He don't understand the Bible. No. He read about the Father, read about the Son, he read about the, uh, the Holy Ghost. He don't know. He didn't know that's all the same one. That's right. That's the same one. That's right. God wouldn't have never come down yet if we hadn't never sinned. Amen. And when we sinned, then God came down and took a virgin that never knew a man yeah. and formed a body in her body and that was God's body and then he born when he was born the Bible said he was God with us that's right don't it say so Matthew chapter 1 well the flesh was the son that's right the flesh was the son and the spirit that was in that body was God that's right that's the truth isn't it? that's right amen amen one, he was human and divine. That's right. He was human and divine. Right. Notice what he said. Give me, give me uh, eight chapter of John, verse fifty-six. I believe you want. Yes. Read John. I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John chapter eight. Yes. Verse fifty-six. Yes. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Uh huh. And he saw it and was glad. Yes. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Did you see, hear that? Now, he told them Abraham rejoiced to see his day, his sword, and was glad. Mm -hmm. You know what the Jews looked on? His flesh. Mm -hmm. And said to him, You're not fifty years old. And, how and thousand Abraham years? has been dead one thousand eight hundred and some years. Mm -hmm. And you're not fifty years old, and you mean to tell me you've seen Abraham? <laughs> thou art he not wasn't talking about the flesh. So no. He was talking about that eternal spirit that was in that body that made Abraham. That's right. 
All right, read. Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Uh-huh. Jesus said unto them, What? Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm-hmm. Before Abraham was, I am. Well, what was that before Abraham when his body wasn't, but wasn't 50 years old? What was that before Abraham? What was that? He said, I am. That's right. Didn't it? Jesus said unto them. Jesus said unto them. them verily, verily, I say unto you. Uh-huh. Before Abraham was. Before Abraham was. I am. What? Before Abraham was. What is that was before Abraham? His spirit That's it. was before Abraham. That's right. But his flesh wasn't 50 years old. That's right. He was human. That's right. And he was divine. That's right. See, Mr. Waller wasn't able to get that out. That's right. That's too deep for him. Yes. Huh? That's right. And because it's too deep for him, he made three. Yes. And I'm going to make him find the Bible for three. Mm-hmm. The Bible don't talk about three nowhere. The Bible says it's one. That's right. Here who is it? Lord our, the Lord, Lord our God is one. Mm-hmm. And Jesus said, there is none good but one. That's right. Didn't he? That's right. And if, if he's got three, he's got to tell me which one of the three is good. That's he right. can't have all of them good. No, indeed not. See how he's trapped? He'll never get out yet. First John, Amen. Read. Read. First John chapter 5, verse 7. Yes. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Let me get that. Because he'll run there not understanding it. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to cut that limb off That's so it can't set on that. That's right. All right. For there are three, three, mm-hmm. uh-huh. that bear record in heaven. Yeah. The Father. That's God. That's right. The Word. That's God. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is God because the but one spirit. That's right. Mm-hmm. And what? And these three are one. That's what I preach. That's right. I preach that he's the Father. That's right. And he's the Word. That's right. And he's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Because he told the disciples, he dwelleth with them, so but I shall be in you. That's right. Didn't it? That's right. And it's only one spirit. That's right. And if he said it's more than one spirit, I'd make him find Bible. That's right. Amen. Mm-hmm. He don't have a leg to stand on. That's right. And nobody. Amen. Amen. He's trapped. That's right. One. The Bible says there's one. The Bible says it's one. All right, give me Revelation. Revelation, Mm -hmm. chapter 5, I believe it is. All right, be quick. Revelation, chapter 4. Yeah. Beginning at verse 1. Yeah, be quick. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. The first Uh, voice which I heard was, as it were, a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither. Yeah. I'll show thee things which must be hereafter. Yeah. And immediately I was in the spirit. Now, here the man was in the spirit. Mm hmm. We don't. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one. How many? And one. John was in his spirit and looked in heaven and they couldn't see but one. That's right. Mr. That, Mr. Waller down here on the earth. Yes. And can't look in heaven. No. And he see three. Yeah. Now, nobody, none of the apostles never preached that. The apostle never preached no three distinct persons in the Godhead. Never. Nowhere. Amen. And Paul said, if an angel from heaven mm-hmm. preach any other gospel, mm-hmm. didn't he? That's right. Except the gospel which we preach. And let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. Mm-hmm. So Paul never preached three distinct persons. And nobody else. No. Jesus Christ is God, was God, manifested in the flesh. Right. His spirit was God, his flesh was the son. Mm-hmm. And David says in Psalms 86, 10, mm-hmm. be quick. Yes, sir. Yes, this. Mm-hmm. Psalms 86, yes. chapter 10. Yes. For thou art great, for thou art great, and doest wondrous things, and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Now, he's got to call these scriptures a lie, mm-hmm. because I said he was alone. Yes. And if anybody in here don't know what alone means, Raise your hand and I'll tell you. <laughs> Anybody in here don't know what alone means? Raise your hand and I'll tell you. One of them don't know what alone, don't know what alone means? That <laughs> means by yourself. That's right. Nobody with you. <laughs> That's right. All right. One minute. He said, Thou art God 
I alone. For thou art great and doest wondrous things. Uh -huh. Thou art God alone. Thou art God alone. Mr. Wallace got to tell me that these scriptures lie and tell me where was the other two mm -hmm. that he says in the Godhead. Yes. He's got that to do. Yes. And it's got to give Bible chapter and verse. Yes. And I'm going to hold it mm -hmm. until it gives Bible chapter and verse. Mm -hmm. And it's three distinct persons in the Godhead. And then tell me God lied when he said he stretched both the heavens alone and spread it abroad to earth by himself. Bishop Johnson, on his side of this proposition, now... I'm, I'm not acquainted with the other part of this uh, set up as it is, but I We have a 10 minute break right here. I'm going to ask Brother Locke to uh, either direct us in some songs or choose someone so to do, and we'll get the remainder of this. Oh, oh, I understand that this 10 minute break is where you get refreshment, so you can consider yourself dismissed for 10 minutes. me a question and I shall have to answer it. He stood before you intelligent people and stated that I said that there were two gods, two fathers, that I must prove. And I shall read the scripture affirming that there are two. I think he asked me, he said, I'd like for Mr. Wallace uh, to show him these things. Mm -hmm. Every scripture that he quoted about Jesus Christ being alone, built the heavens all by himself. That's one of my lessons that I already have. I just wanted to show it to you people. He didn't know I had it. Fooled him. Mm -hmm. Fooled him. Everybody. Anybody who said an example, been preaching it for 20 years, he didn't he never heard me. He didn't know it. Now I want to read the scripture that proves that there are two said that. He asked the question, Bishop Johnson asked the question, or either I can ask him a question, just either one, but he did ask me to prove that, and that I must prove. I want the brethren to turn with me now to John the 8th chapter, St. John 8th chapter, verse 17, and verse 18 and 19. I think this will answer the question. St. John chapter 8, verse 17, 18, and 19. Verse 17, I shall read it. This is your answer, Bishop Johnson. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. Jesus says, and this is in red right, so he can't make a mistake. <laughs> Jesus says, I am one that bears witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bears witness of me. That's two. Right. 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 The Lord. Does the Bible say it's two? Sure it says it. Read it. I'll read it. Read why it says two. It's also written in your law that the testimony of Two! 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 what? Men! Oh, man, not God. Jesus <laughs> Christ is a man. Not well, men. He's a man. Not God. He's a man. I want Bible for two gods. He's a man. I want Bible for two gods. So God's talking. I want Bible that says it's two gods. Read it, brother. I want Bible that says it's two gods. I'm not just talking about two men. He said the testimony of two men yes. are true. You say it's two gods. I won't buy from two gods. Don't I'm going to give you Bible for one God. 
Amen. Right. Is that God talking? Is that God talking? Come on, I won't die for two gods. Talk to me. I am one. Is that God talking? Never mind, I won't die. Is that God talking? I won't die for You got the Bible? I'm reading Bible. 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 I'm reading Bible. I won't die. I'm reading Bible. I won't Bible. That says two gods. I'm reading God says I. Is two gods. Ah, is that Bible? That's Bible, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's Bible. He said I. That's Bible. Mr. Moderator, the man said make him sit down. No, no. That ain't on proposition. Oh. Oh, we're both occupying the stand at the same all right. time. That's all it's sending. I won't Bible for two gods. God says. I won't Bible for two gods. But if you'll shut up, ignorant man, I'll give you a Bible. I won't Bible for two gods. If you'll shut up, ignorant, I'll give you a Bible. All right, that says it's two gods. All right. That now, says it's two gods. Shut up. Shut up and I'll give it to you. Everybody be quiet, please. Shut up and I'll give it to you. Let everybody be quiet and let me get Shut up and I'll give it to you. I won't hush. buy it for two dollars. I won't give it to you if you'll shut up and hush. Revelation 3 and 21. See, you didn't want that first one. Let me give you another with you. I won't buy it for two dollars. Ah, says, ah, a bad witness. That's what God said. And my father bears witness. You don't want that. Let me read this to you. Let's see if you want this. God says. Here's what God says. This is in red writing. I want Bible for you, two gods. You're going to get to. Here it is, Doc. <laughs> to him that overcome it, will I grant to sit with me in my throne. That's not saying that is two gods. I want Shut two up. gods. Shut up. I want Bible for two gods. I won't Bible for two gods. That's right. That's so. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. I won't Bible that says it's two gods. That's right. Because I'm going to give Bible that says one God. That's right. That's right. To him. I won't Bible that says it's two gods. That's right. I'm not going to let him jump in the way and read, I want Bible for two gods. That's I'm right. going to give Bible for one God, right. and he's got to give Bible for two gods. That's right. Give me Bible for two gods. That's right. That's it. That was, that was your statement. That's, That's the thing. Will you call him and sit down and shut up? He's a moderator. He can still sit down and shut up. I don't care if he's the bird. Give me Bible for two I'm gods, Mr. Mr. Waller. Give me a Bible for two God, and I'm going to give Bible for one. That's what I said. That's what I mean, baby doll. I'm going to give Bible for one alone, and he's got to give Bible for two God. Well, if you... Two God, what we were dealing with. Two God. You said three in the God here. You got to give Bible for two God, or if you can give Bible for three, that says there's three Gods in the God here. You're excited, aren't you? No, no, I'm not excited. I just You're want you to, excited. I want, just answer now, let, let us, let us deal so that the people can get an understanding. Well, you tell me who that bird is. Uh, no, I ain't dealing with no bird, I don't preach no bird. Come on back here. I'm dealing, I'm dealing with two gods. Give me Bible, give me Bible that says it's two gods. You give me Bible where one god's a dog. I'm not, I'm not dealing now with that. You I don't preach, I don't preach that. Mr. Waller. Mr. Wallace, Mr. Wallace, Mr. Wallace. You see, he knew he's stuck and then he jumped off his stuff. Come on back. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. Yes, I'm dealing with it. No, you're not. I am. You're going to deal with the proposition? The proposition says. Read the proposition. Let me see. I'll read the proposition. I'll read the proposition. I no, you said it's a bird is on here. There ain't no bird on here. Read, read on bird on there. That's three. No, read the bird. No, read the bird. He's preaching the bird. Just a minute. I'm going to make a fool. I'm going to make a fool out of you and this guy. Just a minute. I'm going to make a fool. Just a minute. Now, now, just a minute. Just a minute. Will you please? Will you please? Now, Mr. Wallace got to answer the question. And give Bible chapter and verse according to the prophet. He no 
know he stopped him, and he jumped on the bird. I'm not dealing with no bird. Yes, you are. I'm not dealing with a bird. You're going to deal with a bird. You're going to deal with a bird. I'll hold your nose. I'll hold your nose. I'll hold your nose. I'll hold your nose. Is that on here? I don't have to be on that. You got to be on that. You got to be on that. You got to be on that. I didn't uh, sign this yeah, uh, for you to run all over the line. All right. Yes, I've accepted. Let everybody be quiet, I'm please. Uh, just a minute. Now, Mr. Waller, Mr. Waller and I, Mr. Waller, don't talk. Mr. Waller and I are dealing with the God here. Yes. Mr. Waller says it's three distinct persons in the God here, and it's two gods. I say it's one in the Godhead, and I'm ready to give Bible chapter and verse for my one, and I want Mr. Waller to be a, a gentleman and give Bible chapter and verse for two gods that will say it's two gods. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the Godhead. We're not dealing with no bird. We're dealing with the yes. Godhead. Oh. All right, now give me Bible that it's two gods. Oh. Just, just a minute. Let's have quiet from the audience, please. Oh, oh, oh. I want Bible that is two gods. My proposition states, let me read it. Give me the proposition, please. Give me the proposition. Let him make fools out of themselves. I want you people to see this. What do you think I had him to come down here for? I come down here to show you some bunch of nuts. Fool. And I want you to see him acting like fools. If they set them down, you'd think they're intelligent people. I don't want them set up. The proposition says. I don't want them set up. The proposition. It? It's my turn to talk. You see this guy? My turn to talk. We, I, we all talk together here. Uh huh. We all. See that? We all talk together here. See? Just answer. Just answer. Give me a Bible for two gods. I won't bother for two God. He knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. He knows there's no way out. I got him. I won't bother that says there's two God. That's all I want. And I damn to give him. But I'll tell you people I can't. You won't let me talk. Go ahead. Give me a Bible for two God. All right. You can talk that. Give me a Bible for two God. John 8, 17, 18, and 19. Two gods. That's two gods. I want the Bible said. I don't want well, the mouth. I said John. My name's not John. I, I don't want the mouth. Clown, clown. The guy's a clown. The guy's a clown. All right, I want Bible for two gods. John 8, 17, 18, 19. John 8. Revelation 3, 21. He ain't got the nothing. heavens, the heavens open. I don't want that. I want Bible for I two know gods. I know you don't want it. I know you don't. I know you don't. I know you don't. I want Bible for two gods. I want Bible for two gods, and that's what he got to give. I have Bible for one God. And none else but he. I have Bible that says that. I don't say it with my mouth and jump on the scripture, not even touching the subject. I got Bible chapter and verse. I got Bible chapter and verse. Two. John 8. Two God. Two God. Two God. All right, read two God. Say it says two God. I. I won't write say it's two God. And the Father. I won't write say it's two God. I. I won't write say it's two God. My Father. I won't write say it's two God. I. I won't watch that you go. See his stuff? I told you I'd stop it. All right, I, I'm going to bring, let me bring my Bible now. Since you wouldn't bring it, give me the 12th chapter mark. Yes, sir. Got it right here. I bring Bible. Listen, listen at this. Yes. And I want you to tell me, is this a lie? Uh-huh. I'll read it. All right, all right. In the 12th chapter mark, be quiet so everybody can hear it. Be quiet so everybody can hear. Why is the moderator? Here they are. 
He said it was one. Well, the guy said it was two, didn't he? Yeah. But I got a whole time brought that scripture. He said it was, yes, it's one God. Killed you. Killed you. Isn't that true? One God, isn't that true? One God, isn't that true? One God, isn't that true? One God. One God. One God. One God. One God. One God. Is it one God? Read it. Yes, sir. For there is one God. One God. One God. One God. That's all we want. One God. That's right. That's right. That's right. One God. Yea, one Son. So one word. Now, you ain't gonna get loose here. You want to go home, don't you? You want to go home. You want to go home, don't you? You want to go home. He said it was one God. That's all I want. One God. One Son. That's two. One God. I want to get y'all's uh, attention. Oh, uh, now, if this is going to be a discussion, we must have some order. Wait a minute. 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 Wait no, he doesn't know about it. 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 He doesn't know that's not the proposition, folks. The proposition one God, the proposition is three in the Godhead. God one in the Godhead. Plus so it's one to the twelve. How many is in the Godhead? How many is in the Godhead? He ain't two of them. How many is in the Godhead? He ain't said that one of them. Oh, no. Sit down. He ain't said that one of them. Sit down, I said. He had not Sit down, I said. Out of order. You better go someplace else. Sit down, lay your eggs. One God. You better lay a one God. One. But you out of order. Well, so is he. What's he doing up here? Well, I ain't gonna sit down. One God. One God. One Son. That one Son. That one Son is in the God here. It's more than one in the God here. Come on, do it right. I'm gonna make you sit down. Yeah. All right. Uh, wait a minute. You want this But not in the God hole. But not in the God hole. He's behind the supposition there. Well, all right. Before you tell people how you got out of it. No, I'm not. I want to call these six. Your attention, please. Quiet, please, just a moment. Quiet, please. You be quiet, please. I want to call your attention. Now, if we're going to get understanding out of this discussion, listen, please. If we got. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Sit down. All right. If we're going to have any, any discussion here, it must be some order. Uh, now, we can't go on without any order. Now, if Bishop Johnson's going to talk, he's going to have to listen while uh, Wallace's going to have to listen. If Wallace's going to talk, Bishop Johnson's going to have to listen. That's what you're going to have to do. Yes, that's not the proposition. Well, we're going to stay with the proposition. That, all right, the proposition. That is the proposition. All right, wait a minute. All right, wait a minute. The proposition. Already. I'm going to read the proposition. Now, uh, if, if we're going to discuss the proposition, Mr. Johnson going right, to have to discuss it. I'm going to read this proposition. Let me read the proposition. Uh, I think you are going to do it. Bishop S. C. Johnson, here, please, hereby do uh, agree to meet Evangelist Charles Waller of Galveston, Texas. In a public, a public biblical debate on September 26 through 28, 1960, at City Auditorium in Galveston, Texas. Proposition for our debate. 
Bishop S.C. Johnson affirmed that. Now here's what Bishop Johnson affirmed. That there is only one Godhead. One in the Godhead. Only one in the Godhead. All right, and he affirmed that Jesus Christ is he. Now, Bishop Johnson will have to prove that Jesus Christ is the only one in the Godhead. Just in the Godhead, please, please. I'm not going to read the proposition. Just read the proposition. Just read the proposition. Oh, will you sit down, please? Read the proposition, please. Evangelist Charles Waller, uh, he affirms that there are three separate and distinct persons in the Godhead. Now, Waller will have to prove that. Now, now, that's what we're here for. Right. Now, we're not here for no whole lot of argument and lip. Uh, you're going to have to prove it and do it intelligently. Now, now, if you can't... Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, yeah. Now, 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 we're not... This is God's Word. And we're not here to, to, to ponder and fall out over God's Word. The book said, let God be true and every man alive. Yeah. All right, now, we're going to have to prove that. And when, when Wall is up, I think uh, Walla, uh, Bishop Johnson or Walla, enough respect to sit down. Uh, wait, wait, and wait, I think wait, when, Walla, wait, when Bishop Johnson's up, uh, Walla or Bishop wait, Johnson, enough respect to sit down. The proposition don't say either one. Wait, 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 well, let him read. Let him read. He's trying to draw it off. Yeah. You have a question and answer period, didn't you? Right. All right. I guess what the proposition says about that stand. Right. Then as you agree on, you acknowledge there's one God. Sure, and when the Son, Jesus Christ, in the body. But you acknowledge there's one. One God in the body. But you acknowledge there's one. But you acknowledge there's one. Well, will you let me read? Yeah. Well, go ahead and read. All right. right. No, no. I hear what the proposition says concerning each speaker in the question period. Each speaker will be given... 20 minutes to relate his differences to the audience of each proposition, after which both will engage in a question and answer period, yes. both yes. occupying the stand, right. not both talking. That's right. Occupy. Yes. Uh, you understand what it says? Occupying it, not talking, but occupying the stand well, at the same time. Yes. Yes. You should read it. Yes, I'm doing it. We say, ladies and gentlemen, the, the debate between Bishop Johnson and Mr. Waller was to be a biblical debate, and each one was given a 20-minute period to state his views. And Mr. Waller emphatically declared that there were three persons in the Godhead, and Bishop Johnson affirmed that there was one. And Mr. Waller attempted to prove that. Then Bishop Johnson came back, and Mr. Waller acknowledged that there was one God. So automatically that ended the debate. I, I just want to hold your point. Tell him I have to admit there's one God in the Godhead. I admit there's one God, one Son, and one Holy Spirit. Uh, 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 well, now, I'm not going to trust your proposition. But now, here's one thing I want you moderate. folks to know. That this moderator don't have anything to do with this discussion. And you're taking over. Yeah. 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 Uh, let, let us have let, let us have some order, please. Everybody, let us have some order. Just a minute, just a minute now. Just a minute. Just a minute. Let everybody, let's have some order. I I I think that we ought to at least be intelligent. We're, we're living, we're living in an intelligent age, and I think, I think if each one of these speakers is not afraid of what he teaches, he ought to be quiet and hear, and hear each other, and then we can understand. Let each one read his passage. Now, if I were discussing it, I wouldn't be afraid of my doctrine. I would let the other man, I would let the other man read his. And then while I be quiet, and then let him be quiet while I read what I'm going to produce. That would be the intelligent way to do it. Uh, 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 but, uh, but if you try to overshadow it, uh, but, Mr. Moderator. But if you try to overshadow it, you must be afraid of your doctrine. 
Mr. Mr. Moderator, but they have already done that, and they came with a question and answer to it, and they agreed between them it was to be no limit on, and it was to answer yes or yeah, no, but and was each me. one was to give a, chap, a scripture, yeah. verse, chapter, and verse. Well, what are you saying? I yeah. can't yeah. But you do acknowledge that. Well, you acknowledge that. Yeah. 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 Man. Well, you guys got big loose mouths. Right. There was there was an agreement that there would be a that question. Was between them, Mr. Moderator. Well, if you don't sit down, we'll get out of here. Yes, sir. What are you going to do now? You already know this morning. I am not just screaming out of here. All right, quiet, quiet, quiet. quiet. You trying to make me out of loud? I said it's three in the morning. But you didn't you have to. Well, if you don't sit down, I will. Well, you sit down. Well, if you don't sit down, I will. 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 Mr. Waller said it was tight. Mr. Waller said it was too dark. Yes, yes. And Mr. Mr. Waller proved it. Just a minute, Mr. Waller. John 8, 17 and 19. Just a minute. Revelation 3 and 21. Mr. Waller, just a minute. Mr. Waller proved it. Mr. Waller being just telling me. Mr. Waller said with his mouth, there was two gods. And I asked Mr. Waller to give me a Bible that said it was two gods. Mr. Waller knew he was stuck and didn't have no Bible. I'll give him your Bible. Just a minute now. Just a minute. Mr. Waller knew he was stuck and Mr. Waller didn't have no Bible for his two God. And I went and brought Bible and here's the scripture that I brought. Yes. And here's the scripture well, that I brought. Well, here's another done jump, sir. I'm the reader, sir. All right. All right. Let him read it now. All right, read the scripture. Yeah, I'll be I'll be Mr. Moderator, I'm talking. I got the floor. Set him down. Have he's got something. He's going for me. No, I got the floor. I'll set him down. No, you don't have the floor. You have the floor with me. You don't have the floor. But I was talking in the middle. That don't make any difference. We all have to apply it together. We can't talk together. But I really read this. No, I ain't going to do this. Well, I am going to read it. Read it. Well, Master. Wait a minute. Mr. Waller, get over here. Well, Master, there's Bible. Don't touch me, please. No, you're not going to stop this. Well, Master, you need a pop in here, please. Well, Master, well, Master, well, Master, well, Master, thou hast been the truth, for there is one God, for there is one God, for there is one God.